A respiratory virus that commonly affects young children in the U.S. saw a significant dip during the height of the pandemic, but now cases are back on the rise. CareHD reporter Rebecca Fiedler talks to health experts about the recent increase of cases. The CDC issued a public health advisory last month urging clinicians to test patients for interseasonal respiratory syncytial virus, more commonly known as RSV. RSV typically affects younger children and elderly adults during the winter time, but there has been an increase in cases in the southern United States during this summer. According to the CDC, during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, RSV cases were lower than average for a winter cold and flu season. On average, 58,000 young children and 177,000 elderly adults are hospitalized with RSV each year. The CDC notes that because toddlers and infants weren't exposed to RSV during the pandemic, they may actually now be at an increased risk of more severe illnesses associated with RSV. You know, during its typical season during the winter, everyone was wearing a mask, you know, sick people were staying at home and socially distancing. Um, and, you know, most respiratory illnesses were kind of uh, minimized throughout the winter season. Now that, you know, everyone is taking the masks off and kind of going back to pre-pandemic behaviors, we're starting to see the surge in RSV cases. Texas A&M's Dr. Jason McKnight noted that a majority of children will catch RSV at some point in their lives and survive the disease without serious damage. Still, he points out that it's important for parents to be vigilant in monitoring a child's symptoms for severity and to physically distance a child from other people if they become sick. Reporting from the Brazos Valley, Rebecca Fiedler, KRHD News.